Hello everyone, in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can use a dilution formula to prepare a solution of a desired concentration from a stock solution. In order to illustrate how we can prepare a solution of a desired concentration from a stock solution, I have chosen a problem. You can see, we have been asked how to prepare a 0.1 molar NaOH solution in 100 ml solvent from a stock solution of 0.5 molar. So, we would write stock solution is equal to solution to be prepared. Actually, stock solution has a concentration of C1 and volume V1, while the solution to be prepared has a concentration C2 and volume V2. So the stock solution has a concentration 0.5 molar and the volume is V1. V1 is the volume that has to be taken from the original solution for the preparation of 0.1 molar solution. And over here on the right side, you see concentration that has to be the new concentration is 0.1 molar and the volume in which this solution would be prepared is 100 ml. So this is just a simple mathematical relation. Divide this 0.5 by 0.1 into 100 and this would give us a volume of 20 ml. So this is the volume that has to be taken from the original solution and this will be poured into a volumetric flask to prepare a new solution. Let me show you. Suppose in this particular flask we have the stock solution of 0.5 molar. We will measure out 20 ml solution from this stock solution and we will pour it into this new volumetric flask. After pouring this 20 ml solution from the stock solution, we will fill it up with 100 ml solvent as this is as this is what we have been asked in the question. So 20 ml has to be added over here and 100 ml distilled water would be added and our new solution with our desired concentration that is 0.1 molar NaOH is ready for the use. Now you might be wondering how this C1V1 comes out to be equal to C2V2. Let me show you. Suppose we have 0.5 molar NaOH solution. How many moles are there? You know number of moles are always equal to concentration into volume. Let's put in 0.5 into 100 and this would give us 50 moles. Suppose we have to double the amount of solvent in this solution. So what would happen? Imagine each ml contain 0.5 molar concentration and now you have doubled the amount of solvent this means the concentration would get halved let me illustrate it with an example suppose you are preparing a sugar drink in your home for yourself and you have added certain amount of sugar into your drink this would taste sweet and again imagine you have doubled the amount of water into your drink what would happen this would taste lesser sweet actually less than half than that of original. So this is the similar situation over here. Since you have double the amount of solvent, the concentration would get halved and this would comes out to be 0.25 as you have doubled the solvent. So 200 multiplied with 0.25, this would gives you 50 moles. That's why we can write C1V1 is equal to C2V2. Originally there was 0.5 concentration and 100 ml solvent. Now since you have doubled the volume, so concentration would get halved. Applying the operations, you would get 50 on both sides of the equation. I, I hope you have understood the logic and rationale behind C1V1 is equal to C2V2. If you have found this tutorial useful, please leave a like, subscribe and thanks for watching.